Suresh Ji, I'm going to ask you to present the memento to Sri Nandi Kazi MD Spice HR Works. Shaka, I'm going to ask you to present the memento to Shri Sandeep Balaji, CHRO, Everyday Industries India Limited. Before we begin, I'd like to also thank our sponsors. Our associate sponsors are RSV Transmissions, Sham Steel, and our corporate contributors for this event is Puchina. I now request Sri Suresh Agarwalji to deliver the welcome address and to take it forward. Good morning. Thank you for coming here. Distinguished guests, members, friends from the media, I wish you a very good morning on behalf of Merchant Chamber of Commerce and Industry. I call me welcome you all to MCCI HR Conclave 2022. The theme of the conclave is future, the future of work, HR for the future. I convey my deepest gratitude to our guests of honor, C. Adik Pratnath Shekhar, Chairman Managing Director with additional charge of Human Resource Corporate Affairs, Bhavan Lohi and Company. Sri Rajiv Chalana, HR Director, South Asia, with Vesivas. Sri Nadim Kazi, MD, Splice HR Works. Sri Sandeep Energy, CHRO, Everardy Industries Limited, for the presence in the organization. I also welcome our speakers for the session to follow. Ms. Sri Rudra Basu, MD, Protibi. TV India Pride Members Limited, C. Somitra Poddar, Director of Strategy Service Consulting, Srimati Jaya Singh, HR Head, RSB Transmission, C. Rama Prasad Bose, TV Digital Transformation, PWC India, Srimati Srila Das, Gupta Global SME, Diversity, Equity and Inclusion, Global Head, PWD Inclusion, PCS and Sri. Sripesh Mithariya, VP HR, Shamsi Industries Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, today's conclave has been conceived as a program to look into the next decade to understand the how employees, employers, or workers, technology, and leaders view the changes that are rapidly transforming the people, a part of all businesses worldwide. The past decade has been an unprecedented change in human life. Technology, climate change, global pandemics have been the greatest <clears throat> change agent in the way we work since 2020. Together, these three factors have how we look into the business and people who are at the center of managing and running, running it. At MCGI, we wish to uh, uh, look into deeper into how volatile, un uncertainty, complex, and ambiguous world has affected its stakeholders from a human resource perspective. One of the key changes is the rise of hybrid workplace and its unique requirements. With the change, HR analytics would need to help to map the uh, engagement of remote workers as a part practice. Apart from technical visibility, there is a question of finding the ethical boundaries of this. How much do we track? The second shift has been in the definition of term employee. Today, it means a resource working full time, part time or a gig or as a freelancer. The time spent on a single job has to have shrunk from three years to somewhere between one or two years. Agility in HR also allows organizations to meet the essential shift. Given this demand for flexibility, human resource management is indeed going through a significant transformation in terms of how people are hired, trained and benefits of it. Learning and development has been the third major area of change, which would be training 
and learning needs of such a board of broad set of employees with rapid change in job roles, HR would need to be prepared for a constant training, upgrading, upskilling, and tracking of competences learned every time there is a role or a job change or a new employee. This is a new, enormous task for the learning and development terms, teams, and as it is the backbone of the analytics part. The future of HR has to be driven by more automation, innovation. With automation and analytics become more critical than ever before, it would be interesting to know how the skill sets would be required from the recruiter, recruitment firms and applicants. If the entire process is automated, our first technical session on the role of HR analytics will focus on the question in some deeper, serious issues. Future employees will be multi-generational, millennials, Generation X, Gen, Gen Xers, who are all looking for different things from the, their career. The next generation of employees will demand the better benefits, greater families, Greater, excuse me, greater fairness and transparency in hiring and a clear career path. To prepare for the future workforce, we need to make smarter decisions faster than ever before. The future of HR requires a mindset, of, mindset to be successful, one that embraces change, pushes boundaries and makes sure that the employees feel valued in their roles. This means the HR needs to understand how to recruit, onboard, retain and for all this, HR would need to create a culture of trust, transparency, respect and empowerment in the workspace. The future would be about providing employees with an exceptional experience and make, make sure that they get engaged in their work. With these thoughts, I leave you ladies and gentlemen to a day looking into the future of work. I hope you will find it engaging, informative and implementable. Thank you. Make this our success story. 
See, organizations today have to be a lot flexible than what it was yesterday. First point. You don't have a five-year horizon today to plan a business plan. You need to do a business plan which is very short, a zero to three years maybe. And even that is evaluated on a half yearly or a quarterly perspective. Why do I say this? Because is there an enemy situation again? Things can go, your three-year predictions may not go the way that you want it. So you need to breathe here reshift. So, when you read here, reshift, are your employees ready and flexible to read here and reshift? That means, are they ready to <coughs> unlearn and relearn again? That's important. So, there's a huge amount of capability building on the skill level that we're talking about. Today. And that is where the HR is challenged. Because when you go to, to find a talent pool today in the organizations that they are requiring, there is a challenge for the right talent. Organizations have to be ready to pay for that right talent. But it comes not, it doesn't come easy. Especially when I tell you when you go to campuses, for example, and I'm going to a campus, say, even when I'm talk of the two four big campuses of the IAMs, we don't get the talent that we would like to get, always. But we are ready to pay a price. So that is where the challenge of HR today is. Do we have the right capability to do that flexibility that the organization requires? So I think employees today who are coming on board needs to be very flexible. To change, learn, Relearn, unlearn, again learn. So that's going to be order of the day. Let's accept it. Then comes the story of internal mobility. You cannot go to the market to search for a talent. And this is all HR centric and trying to say. You need to build within yourself. So I am a firm believer of internal talent mobility and building capabilities. And that's how we need to develop the organization. So that's one more big thing that the HR needs to do it as a future of work. Now comes the technology part. We all know, and uh, I've been told also around in the earlier discussion we were having, technology is going to stay, it's going to develop, we need to adapt. If we don't adapt, we miss the bus. So organizations and employees have to adapt to technology. We don't have a choice because the technology is fast changing. We need to change with technology. Yesterday's way of working, which was very transactional, those work which was transactional will definitely go into technology. Now when it comes to HR, for example, anything to do with transactional HR, 